Hello crocheters, today we are going to learn how to make a newborn hat. If you watched the end of my last video, we learned how to do a magic ring with 12 double crochets. After you slip stitch, you are going to, oh I'm sorry, you need a 5 millimeter hook for this and worsted weight yarn. So after you slip stitch with your 12 double crochets, and you can pause here and go watch my last video if you you are confused. You are going to chain three. So one, two, three. And you are going to do two double crochets in every stitch around. So this chain three counts as our first one. You want to insert into the joining stitch and do another double crochet. Into the next one, you're going to do two double crochet. In the next one, you're going to do two double crochet. And then in the next one, you're going to do two. And you're going to do that all the way around, and I will meet you at the end. Alright, so we are coming to the end of this row. This is my last stitch, and I will put two double crochets into it. Alright, now you should have 24 double crochets for the end of this round. So you're going to find the top of your chain three and do a slip stitch. All right, and this is going, um, row three is going to be our last increase row. So we're going to chain three. We're going to double crochet into the joining stitch. We're going to put one double crochet into that next stitch, two double crochet into the next one, one double crochet into the next. Two into the next one, and we're going to continue that all the way around. So you'll have two double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet. So the next one would be one double crochet. And then the next one is two double crochet. And then the next one is one. And finish this till the end of the row. Okay, so we're at the end of row three and I have my last stitch left, which is just a single double crochet. And then we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three. You should have 36 stitches at the end of this row. I apologize, my camera is all over the place right now. Alright, your newborn hat should be laying flat at this point. Or if it's starting to curl in already, it's fine. It's a hat. It's going to go on ahead, so it's going to need to be round anyways. Alright, so for this round, our round four, it's going to be the simplest thing that you do for this project. So you're going to chain three, and you're going to single crochet into every stitch around. 
I'm sorry, you're going to do one double crochet in every stitch around. And you do this until row 15. And I will meet you at the end of the project. All right, crocheters, this is the finished project. And it is absolutely adorable. I love making baby things. So this is a double crochet baby beanie. And if you have a preemie, you can always roll up the ends and bam, looks adorable. Just remember to tie off and sew in your ends when you're done. That way the baby doesn't have a string hanging on it. Also, if you join my next video, I will be teaching you how to make these adorable baby slippers. These are wraparounds, and this is Jada and Stitch's pattern. I uh, practiced it for a while, and I have multiple different styled and colored baby booties. But they are simple to make. I want to say maybe a 10-minute project. And like I said, you can make them in any size or color that you want. Very simple project to do. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe this video and I will see you next week.